If you paint professionally or for just a hobby, one of the most overlooked tools that you're probably forgetting about is the chair that you sit in. In this video right here, I'm gonna share with you the chair that I've been using for the past two years that I absolutely love. Gonna share what's good and what's bad about it so that way you can decide if this is gonna be the perfect painting and artist chair for you. Here we go. When it comes to finding the perfect painting and artist chair, it needs to be a multitasking chair. The reason why is because I know you're gonna try a bunch of different types of art just like I have, and we wanna make sure we fill that need with the chair we pick. And the chair I'm gonna recommend isn't even a chair, it's a stool. It's the Home Garden Adjustable Hydraulic Rolling Swivel Stool. Now this stool is made for spas, salons, and tattoo parlors. But you know what? It's actually perfect for painters. Let's start with the specifications of this stool. This stool right here features high density foam in the cushion, providing you firm support that softens and contours to your body over time. It has a five star base with wheels offering greater movement and support. The dual wheel casters provide smooth gliding across most surfaces that you're going to paint around. It's also extremely easy to assemble and clean provided you're not too messy of a painter like me. Depending on where you live, you may not have this exact brand in your area, but the good news is I don't care about the brand. It's the design that I want you to concentrate on, which is pretty much available no matter where you are in the world. I want you to pay attention to make sure that it has that contouring soft cushion base because that's gonna be more comfortable on your butt if you plan on painting for long hours. Also, having that minimal backrest there, that's between three and four inches, helps a ton and we'll get on to that more in just a moment. But they come in a wide variety of colors, most commonly white and black, but I've seen some that come in blues and pinks and yellows. So go with whatever color you like most. Also, if you can find one that has a lot of travel within that rising piston, which basically means how high the chair will go to how low it will go, is also a nice beneficial factor. Mine travels right around between seven and eight inches. So what are the pros about this chair that makes it good for artists and painters specifically? Well, the first one that I like is the fact that it actually does easily glide across whatever surface you have it on top of. So if you have to move from one side of the canvas to the next, it's easy to do with just shifting of your body weight and or moving the wheels to wherever you need. Since it's a swivel gliding chair, it's perfect for that. Or if you keep your supplies a little off to the side, maybe on a mixing palette or glass palette, or you have other supplies you need to get, just easy to slide and roll over and get it. The biggest part that I love about it though is it has that minimal back rest, okay? Now the reason that's important is if you have a regular office chair that has arms that come around it and a big backrest, you're gonna sometimes get lazy because it has reclining modes to it. So you're gonna get back and push away from your art, you're gonna lean on your armrests, which means you're really gonna hurt your core and back in the long run for when you're doing art. With this minimal backrest, you kind of just scoot your butt up to it and sit up properly and paint as you go across, really making it better for your core and back. And this is something that's super important if you plan on painting for the long haul. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, perhaps one of the best pros about this tool is the fact that it's made for easy storage. Just put it in its smallest height, and if you have a smaller studio, you can just put it out of the way. If you paint in a smaller living area, like an apartment or a condo, or my European friends out there, a flat, this can easily be stored in something like a closet or even under a table since it's just got that minimal height. It's just out of the way, which makes it perfect. Okay, so what are the cons with this chair? Well, to be honest, there's only one. It's made out of PU leather, which is quite common. But PU leather sometimes doesn't hold up for the long haul unless you treat it correctly. Now, if you live in an area like I do in Southern California, you wanna make sure you don't store this chair where it has really strong fluctuations in temperature. Can't go anything from too mild to too hot or the reverse direction because that'll actually wreak havoc on the PU leather. Also, if you paint with any type of thinner, mediums, acetone, anything like that and spill it on the chair, it could eventually eat away at that PU leather. So if you do spill anything, make sure you clean it up really quick. But this chair will last you the long haul if you treat it correctly, but if you don't, it could start to deteriorate a lot quicker than you want. Oh yeah, one more minor con that I wanna bring up, depending on the type of painter or body shape that you are. I'm a very in-shape athletic man that has a tiny butt. But if you are, uh, let's just say, more well-endowed in your bottom area or you have 
thicker thighs or legs, this could not be a comfortable chair for you. It's basically the same realm of any stool. If you've sat in a stool and it's not comfortable for you, I would say not get this chair. But if you've sat in a stool before, this is gonna be awesome for you. Okay, time for the best part about this stool is the price. Generally, it's right around 50 USD. Sometimes you'll see it between 50 and 60 USD, but I've even seen it as low as 35 USD when it's on sale. So put it on your watch list, or if you must have it right now, go through my links down below, which helps support my channel. This, no joke, is one of my favorite art painting stools slash chairs that I've ever come across. It makes you sit in the correct position, which is gonna be good for your body, and it allows you the mobility and swivelness to get to whatever you need within your painting slash studio. Give it a try. For 50 bucks, you can't go wrong. Just make sure to use those links down below, because like I said, they help me out. If you need any more help with any art supplies or reviews, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do to help review it for you so that way you can be better educated on your purchase. But until next time, take a look over to my side to see other products I have reviewed so that way you can get them. Sure, brain fart, let's go. Peace.